Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions and detailed answers related to support projects in SAP ABAP interviews. 1. What is the role of an SAP ABAP consultant in a support project? Answer, a support project, and SAP ABAP consultant is responsible for resolving issues, enhancing existing programs, providing technical support to end users, and ensuring the smooth operation of ABAP-based functionalities. 2. How do you prioritize and handle incoming support tickets or incidents in SAP ABAP? Answer, prioritization involves assessing the impact on business processes. High-impact issues are addressed first. Consultants use ticketing systems to log, track, and manage incidents efficiently. 3. Explain the process of analyzing and debugging ABAP programs to identify and resolve issues in a support project. Ants analysis involves reviewing program logic, understanding data flow, and using debugging tools like breakpoints and watchpoints. Consultants identify and fix issues by tracing through the code execution. 4. How do you approach performance tuning for ABAP programs in a support project, and what tools do you use? Answer. Performance tuning involves analyzing skull statements, optimizing loops, and minimizing database calls. Tools like skull trace and runtime analysis are used to identify bottlenecks and improve program efficiency. 5. Explain the steps involved in transporting ABAP objects from development to production in a support project. Answer. Transporting involves creating transport requests, releasing objects, and moving them through different systems. Consultants use the transport management system TMS for a controlled and traceable transport process. 6. How do you handle version management for ABAP programs in a support project? And what is the significance of versioning? Answer, version management tracks changes to ABAP programs. Consultants create versions before making changes, enabling rollback if needed. This ensures a systematic approach to program modifications and reduces the risk of errors. 7. Explain the concept of SAP Enhancement Framework and how do you use it to enhance standard SAP programs in a support project? Answer. The Enhancement Framework allows consultants to enhance standard SAP programs without modifying them directly. Consultants use business add-ins BATIS and enhancement spots to add custom logic to standard programs. 8. How do you handle authorization-related issues for ABAP programs? In a support project, and what tools do you use for authorization tracing? Answer. Authorization issues are addressed by checking roles and authorizations. Consultants use tools like Streeto 1 Authorization Trace to identify missing authorizations and adjust roles accordingly. 9. Explain the purpose of the SAP lock concept, and how do you troubleshoot and resolve lock-related issues in a support project? Answer. The SAP lock concept prevents data inconsistencies in a multi-user environment. Consultants troubleshoot lock-related issues using transaction SM12 lock entries and analyze the lock situation to identify and release locks. 10. How do you handle and resolve short dumps runtime errors in ABAP programs in a support project, and what tools do you use for analysis? Answer. Short dumps are analyzed using tools like Transaction Street 22 Dump Analysis. Consultants review the dump information identify the root cause, and apply necessary corrections to prevent recurrence. 11. Explain the concept of SAP Remote Function Call off EC, and how do you use it for communication between SAP systems in a support project? Answer. off EC enables communication between SAP systems. Consultants use remote-enabled function modules to exchange data and trigger actions between different SAP instances. 12. How do you approach the modification of SAP standard programs in a support project? And what considerations are important for making modifications? Answer. Modifications are approached cautiously, and consultants adhere to SAP's guidelines. Consultants use modification assistant tools like C-Mode and SPAL to document and manage modifications. 
13. Explain the SAP Business Application Programming Interface BAPI concept, and how do you use BAPIS in a support project? Answer. BAPIS provides standardized interfaces for communication between SAP systems. Consultants use BAPIS to integrate SAP with external applications and systems, facilitating data exchange. 14. How do you ensure data consistency and integrity when dealing with database updates in a BAP programs in a support project? Answer. Data consistency is ensured by implementing proper error handling using database commit and rollback statements judiciously, and validating data before updates. Consultants monitor and addressing consistencies promptly. 15. Explain the process of applying SAP notes and support packages in a support project. And how do you minimize the impact on existing functionalities? Answer. Consultants analyze SAP notes and support packages for relevance, apply them using transaction snote, and perform thorough testing to minimize the impact on existing functionalities before implementing changes in production. 16. How do you approach the resolution of transport-related issues? In a support project, and what tools do you use for transport analysis? Answer. Transport-related issues are resolved using tools like transaction say a one transport organizer, Consultants analyze transport logs, identify errors, and reapply or correct transports to address issues. 17. Explain the role of SAP Solution Manager in an ABAP support project, and how do you leverage it for incident management and monitoring? Answer. SAP Solution Manager facilitates incident management, monitoring, and system documentation. Consultants use it to create and track incidents perform root cause analysis, and ensure optimal system performance. 18. How do you manage custom code in a support project, and what tools do you use for custom code analysis and optimization? Answer. Custom code is managed using tools like SAP Code Inspector and SAP Readiness Check. Consultants analyze custom code for efficiency, adherence to coding standards, and potential areas for improvement. 19. Explain the concept of SAP Smart Forms, and how do you use them for designing print layouts in a support project? Answer. Smart Forms are used for designing print layouts. Consultants create and modify forms using the Smart Forms tool, ensuring that printed documents meet business requirements. 20. How do you handle and resolve issues related to background jobs and batch processing? In a support project, and what tools do you use for monitoring? Answer. Background jobs are monitored using Transaction SM37 Job Monitoring. Consultants analyze job logs, troubleshoot issues, and optimize job scheduling for efficient batch processing. 21. Explain the SAP UI theme designer concept, and how do you use it to enhance the user interface in a support project? Answer. UI Theme Designer is used to customize the look and feel of SAP applications. Consultants create and modify themes to enhance the user interface and align it with the organization's branding. 22. How do you address and troubleshoot issues related to SAP Web Dinpro applications? In a support project, and what tools do you use for analysis? Answer. Web Dinpro issues are addressed using tools like Transaction Watool. Consultants analyze error logs, trace user interactions, and debug applications to identify and resolve issues. 23. Explain the SAP Business Server Pages BSP concept, and how do you use BSP applications for web-based functionalities in a support project? Answer. BSP is used for developing web-based applications. Consultants design and enhance BSP applications to provide web-based functionalities and troubleshoot issues using tools like Transaction BSP WDC PWIP. 24. How do you ensure compliance with coding standards and best practices for a BAP development in a support project? Answer. Compliance is ensured through regular code reviews, using tools like Code Inspector, and following SAP guidelines. Consultants emphasize modular and well-documented coding practices, 
25. Explain the SAP Fiori concept, and how do you integrate Fiori apps with the BAP systems in a support project? Answer, Fiori is a user experience design concept. Consultants integrate Fiori apps with the BAP systems using SAP Gateway and Odata services, providing users with the modern and intuitive interface. 26. How do you handle issues related to SAP Gateway and Odata services in a support project, and what tools do you use for analysis? Answer, Gateway and Odata issues are addressed using transaction if and error log. Consultants analyze error logs, trace service calls, and troubleshoot issues to ensure smooth communication between SAP systems. 27. Explain the SAP HANA database concept and how do you optimize ABAP programs for HANA in a support project? Answer. HANA optimization involves adapting ABAP programs to leverage HANA-specific features. Consultants use tools like Skull Monitor to analyze and optimize Skull statements for better performance on the HANA database. 28. How do you handle and troubleshoot issues related to SAP Adobe Forms in a support project, and what tools do you use for form design? Answer, Adobe Forms issues are addressed using tools like Transaction SF. Consultants design and modify forms, troubleshoot rendering issues, and ensure that printed forms meet business requirements. 29. Explain the SAP S4 HANA ABAP programming model and how do you transition from traditional ABAP to the S4 HANA programming model in a support project? Answer. The S4 HANA ABAP programming model emphasizes simplification and modernization. Consultants transition by adopting CDS views, AMP, and other S4 HANA programming paradigms, ensuring compatibility with future releases. 30. How do you ensure knowledge transfer and documentation of custom developments? In a support project, and what tools do you use for documentation? Answer. Knowledge transfer is facilitated through detailed documentation using tools like SAP Solution Manager. Consultants create technical specifications, user manuals, and change documents to ensure continuity and easy understanding of custom developments. These questions and answers cover various aspects of SAP ABAP support projects. Interviewers may adjust questions based on the candidate's experience and the specific requirements of the organization. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more, that will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.